you'll agree. In a magnificent setting as well, at sunset. So we'll go up into the castle, shall we? And we'll see what's there. Up we go. So we're in uh, Scottish Borders. Hello, Emily G. Welcome. I think there's uh, an archaeological dig happening at the moment, which is nice. Might have a little look over there in a minute. Oh, Helen. I can smell something burning. I hope it's not the English invading. Up steps. Made lasagna. Mm. I like lasagna. It's one of my favourites. Hello, Claire. Glowing, yes. It's a beautiful sunset. You're right in feeding, okay. There's some sheep. Oh, sheep. <sighs> yes, on YouTube as well. So it's lambing season, so I'll be careful of any lambs. sheep. Now this, um, it's not, it's not a real proper original castle. What you can see here, it's, uh, it's kind of fake to be honest. All this. There was a real castle in here, and we can see some of it if we go inside. But this massive uh, curtain wall with these enormous crenellations, they um, are not the real castle. Um, after the castle was destroyed, um, there you can see part of the real castle in there, but after it was destroyed, they um, Let's, can we uh, open that up? Can we open it? As it rusted in front. Yeah. There we go. That's my left. Right. After it was destroyed, um, the massive curtain wall around was built out of the ruin. So they took all the stone from the real castle and uh, and they built this massive, ridiculous, uh, fake wall around the outside. But some of it is original. So you can see some of the original castle here. And that wall there, and, uh, a big grate. You know where this is? It's a tomb. Now, we might lose signal a little bit because, you know, massive stone walls, but we'll go in and I'll head up the corner. Up there. But yes, that is original, real, proper, actual castle. And there's a well down there, but this was destroyed. And uh, this massive, ridiculous, fake wall was built around the outside. Um, a couple hundred years ago. But it's still a castle. Well, we do still get a rather nice view of spending the night. Hope not. Hope not. Yeah, so 
like I say, not a proper castle, but it looks pretty magnificent uh, when you're approaching it. Why they do that? Well, they've got a lot of walls, you know, a lot of stone hanging around. Might as well do something with it. So there's some other sense of humour. Decide to build this massive, ridiculous Disney princess of a fake castle wall. But it looks really, really impressive from the surrounding uh, land. So if you're approaching it, yeah. a facade. Well, it's a, it's a fake, yeah, a fake uh, curtain wall. Or Kobe. It looks nice when the sun's going down, though, doesn't it? Who lived here? Uh, the Humes. The Humes. Um, you know, the, uh, you, well, you might know, if you're British at least, you might know um, the former Prime Minister, Alec Douglas Hume. His family, his ancestors lived here until they moved elsewhere um, to Coldstream. Um, so, yeah, the Humes, they were a big, grieving family. Uh, hello, Pablo. The big reeving family, they, um, they were the lairds of this area here, kind of from the Mars down, uh, down towards Berwick. So they controlled the land. They, um, they were the big warlords in the 15th century in this area. It's the broadcast of the week. Thank you, Pablo. Um, well, you know, now that... Now that the COVID restrictions are lifted a little bit. I can uh, show you some more of this kind of stuff that I've been itching to, to show you all these castles. And we've got, so you can see Smalem Tower over there, um, over in that direction. And there's the uh, the Eildens, where I'm always climbing up. Yeah, a nice sunset. Um, the 360. And we're looking over towards the Lammer Muirs, and you can almost see down the Barrack. And there's the English border over there. Well, you can see here. In fact, you can see all these, all these different places on the map. There's Attrick Forest, the Liddesdale Hills, the Lammer Muirs. Uh, you got the Blackadder Water. Uh, we also got the Tweed. You can see it marked here. So you see all these places where I, where I ledger wood and ledgerwood mill, um, all these places where I like to go. Um, there's the TV, more battle yet I'm on the border. Yeah, Black Adder, yeah. It's, a, it's a real place, you know. It's a real river and a real village. Um, but yeah, um, now that I can get out a little more, I can show you so much more of these places. 360 view and there were two suns in the sky. Well, I only count one. Unfortunately, we've got that lens flare happening. Um, yeah, so it's oh, it a fast. So I was hoping we'd be able to, to get out here today. Um, or soon. Wait, I know there's a, a sheep with a lamb there. Uh, yeah, I was hoping to be able to come out here in the uh, in the sunset. Show you the castle. So yeah, like I say, it's a bit of a fake a fake wall around it, but that's real castle there. That's from the I think probably the the history goes back to about the eleven hundreds or the thirteen hundreds here. Oh, Tonya. No, I'm not gonna say that no, Tonya. Um and of course the English living just over those hills. Um, would quite often come up here and slight the castle, as they as they call it, and steal the cattle. Um, so you need to have a big castle um, to try to control the land, uh, to to uh, impose your your will on the on the land, thank you, Paul. Uh, and this is as good a place as any, because you know you can see like. 15 miles over to the border, and you can see all the way to, uh, hello Peter, see all the way, um, it's like so 15 miles that way to Melrose and Calashiels, and you've got Kelso and Jedburgh, uh, right the way across to 
nearly to the the uh, the coast. But, uh, go back. Good. It's pretty cold. Thank you, Peter. I don't know. Can you see my breath there? It's uh, starting to get a little bit cold. Um, despite the sun. Um. Yeah, so that's uh, it's Hume Castle. And like I say, it's uh, the history goes back. Uh, thank you, Claire. <laughs> ah, that's why I can smell smoke. Fire. Um, yeah, the history goes back through the period of the, the reefers. To go in the car at this point, yeah, uh, I had to drive here. Because um, now that I can uh, drive throughout the region, uh, throughout the Scottish borders, I, uh, I can drive a good distance. Um, legally still keeping within the within the COVID rules, I can come to places like this. I can head up into the Laramure Hills. And I can show you uh, Smailham, and I can show you lots and lots of different castles and abbeys. I could go down to Jadra Abbey, or uh, yeah, it does feel great. Yeah, uh, you don't like the oh. <laughs> No, that's because of the coldness. Freedom! That's a nice smoke, actually. My jet. Light enough the sun quite well. Thank you, Jules. I can show you Kelso Abbey. I can show you Roxburgh Castle. And uh, I can show you Fleur's Castle. Um, I'm the chief. It's getting lit up quite well over there as well. Isn't it? Thank you, Gary and Brandy. Like, still snow. So wee bits of snow on the, the Scottish side of the border. That might not disappear for uh, a few weeks. Look at the clouds. Look at the smoke. Yeah, so I'm just trying to smoke me out. <laughs> Zoom in on the sun. It is a nice view, isn't it? Mask. <laughs> I don't have it with me, actually. Goodness, that is a lot of smoke. <laughs> Something's on fire, yeah. It's probably just a bonfire. That is smoke. Typically, the wind's blowing in this direction. I'm sure they'll have it under control. No, it's not my car on fire, fortunately. It's a nice view, let's go. It's a nice view. I hope you're all getting a few screenshots. So yeah, it looks like there's an archaeological dig down there. I've seen inside floors. Yeah, I've been inside floors. It's, uh, it's yeah, a very beautiful place. Uh, a few years ago, they had uh, a bagpipe competition sort of thing, um, and you can go inside. Well, you can go inside. You know, it's it's, uh, it's a tourist place, so you can go inside if you if you are tech or something. I can go down the lines and sense of tour. Yeah, so again on the uh, sun, the trees, the smoke. Smoke follows beauty. No smoke without beauty. I love the way that the sun creates patterns on the fields, showing the texture. Shall we uh, step down again? So again, we might briefly lose the signal. I'll step down outside. And like I say, there's still, thank you, Claire, there's still one of the walls of the original real castle. Or cycle, I think that's the, uh, the archaeological dig. And that's a real, uh, a real well. Uh, whenever you've got a castle, you've got to have a well, um, because a very 
easy way to get you out would be to uh, to poison the water. But if you've got a well inside your castle, then uh, then you can survive for a lot longer. You can survive for weeks or months. Hopefully. It's uh, a donations box in there. Metal monolith. Back then, well, they'd have big fires, massive fires. Talking sheep. Look at the horns. You want to get butted by those horns? Look at it. Look at it. Impressive. Eh? And when you're driving up here. Goodness, all the ass gangs in here. Perfect dreamy photo. Well, it's pretty good. Especially with the sun going down. I am using my earpods, yes. Thank you, Brett. It's a pleasant, you just heard. Some crows and some sheep. I'll try going over this way and see if we can get a nice angle. Isn't it? You wouldn't want to try clambering up that um, if you were attacking. Movie scene. Well, not a very historically accurate movie, though, but uh, a castle like this. Or a house, yeah. yeah. There's some nice houses. There's uh, the village of Hume. There are some nice houses there. Anyway, there we go. Hume Castle, everybody. I'm always better than this angle, yeah. Just about get it all in frame. Just about. But I will take you to real, real proper castles soon. I'll be able to, to start going to Edinburgh and Crichton. Oh, we'll go down and have a look at the, uh, the plaque to get the exact dates, but it goes back about 800 years, the, uh, a little bit older than that, about, uh, about the, the time of the, uh, the, uh, the Norman Conquest, because I believe the Hume family um, were Normans. Uh, but we've got all the, all the full, proper information down here. Oh, Namaste, Brandy. It is gorgeous, like, yeah, it's uh, the golden hour, isn't it? With the sun going down. So we've got an information board just down here, which I know tells us all about it. Got a big timeline on it. So there we go, it goes back to 1214. Lands of Home or Hume were first granted to Ada, uh, his daughter by the 6th Earl of Dunbar in March. Uh, Dunbar is uh, a town further up the coast. Um, doing weird things, but you're doing well, okay. Dunbar is further up, and um, March is, uh, the, the Marches uh, is, is an area within this, this region. 
Um, and she married her cousin William of Greenlaw. So I've been to Greenlaw and shown you the castle there, or uh, Greenlaw Tower, anyway. Where he he became known as William of Hume. So notice that the spelling, um, Hume or Home, but you'd always say Hume. Um, sometime before twelve fourteen. So, so the castle, so here was where the original castle, 1651, uh, so Hume was taken by the Earl of Sussex and burned following the Fourth Lord Hume's renewed support of American Scots, but here Cromwell uh, and his army uh, destroyed the castle and then it was kind of rebuilt here in 1789 following the sale of the barony of Hume by the Earl of Hume to Sir Hugh, Hugh Hume of Polworth, third Earl of Marchmont. The castle walls were reconstructed in their present form, the original 13th century portion still being visible in part. So that's the, the bit that we see inside. Um, where the Dubars used to be your ladder, really. <laughs> what the Dubars? Um, yeah, and now it's, uh, it says uh, ownership of the castle is returned to the Humes after an interval of 100 years and it was acquired by the Hume Castle Preservation Trust. There, it's, yeah, it goes back quite the distance, um, over 800 years history, although as it says, in its present form, late 1700s. So it's still kind of historic in its present fake form, you know. Any uh, any American would be impressed by uh, a 250-year-old building, but you know, around here, it's, uh, it's kind of fake and new. <laughs> so let's just have a look and see in if this is the archaeological dig here. Um, I'm not sure. Or is it just a bit of uh, boggy land that they fenced off for the sheep? That's a possibility as well. I see them taking down some of the trees. Same way about uh, Paris buildings seeming old but not, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Old is a matter of uh, of opinion, really, isn't it? A matter of perspective. It's time to hear, yeah, maybe. But yeah, so the, the the remnants of the castle inside are proper old, you know, eight hundred years old. But the fake Dairy prin Disney Princess walls are comparatively new. Sometimes find a Scottish flag flying from the flagpole there, by the way. Thank you, Mel. But there we are, Hume Castle, everybody. Um, I think that'll do for the moment. I'll get home before it gets totally dark. So thank you for watching, as always. Thank you for watching. You can go and watch my previous uh, broadcast from Three Brethren, if you didn't see those earlier today. Uh, thank you for the awards. Thanks for being here and commenting and uh, all of that. Always lovely to have you all here. And like I say, now that the now that the uh, thanks Fiji, now that the um, the rules are opening up a little bit more, I can go to more spectacular places like this, more castles and abbeys and palaces, etc. Uh, and I'll be able to show hats. You know what what South Scotland's really like. Uh, rather than just walking along rivers all the time. So thanks for being here. I'll see you all next time soon. Have a nice, uh, nice Friday night, everybody. Cheerio, bye, everyone.